Good afternoon, everybody. We are here to talk about worship this coming Sunday, uh, September the 12th. And I'm joined today by Denise Dugan, and we are going to co-share a little bit about this coming Sunday, a little bit different Sunday than we normally have. Uh, this coming Sunday is considered our commissioning Sunday, and we've invited uh, Reverend Dr. DeLeslin Kennebrew to come in and preach this coming Sunday because it's a special Sunday when it's someone from the region, and DeLeslin has been a good friend to our church and has preached in our setting before, and I just love having her uh, preach in the setting and thought what a great person to have be a part of this particular Sunday. Uh, she'll be preaching from the Gospel of Mark in the 12th chapter, verses 41 through 44. And that particular text is the story of the woman that is in the temple. And it's uh, sometimes known as the story of the widow's might. Uh, it essentially, is the story of a woman that comes to give her offering at the temple is a kind of a response in her faith. She wants to give like everybody else gives. And so many will look at her as a model of faith, but Jesus was really reflecting on the nature of her doing what she felt committed to do, that there is no one regardless of their economic situation and of their circumstances in life that they can't be a full part of the community of faith. And sometimes the system of the church or the system of religion can put down or minimize the role of others. And this woman seems to be not influenced by those outside forces. She just is strong in spirit and does what she feels she wants to do to honor God and honor connection to the community. And, and DeLeslin will be preaching about that text. And I'll let DeLeslin share her own views and, and reflections of what that text means. But that's really the, the corpus of the message in terms of the story that's being reflected on for Sunday. So we're excited about her being here and sharing that message. I'm going to let Denise talk a little bit more about the commissioning itself. So we're very excited this Sunday to celebrate Chris's ministry with us. And so we, um, gosh, what, 16 months ago or so, we hired Chris right before the pandemic started. So then we managed to get a vote from the congregation during a pandemic. Chris and his family managed to move here during a pandemic and start a brand new ministry. And so we've waited a while for this commissioning because we wanted there to be as many people in person as possible. But after 16 or so months, we think it's time to um, get on with it. So we're going to have this commissioning. Uh, DeLeslin is coming also, Reverend Dr. Paxson Jones, who, Jones, who is the uh, interim sabbatical, um, covering the sabbatical of our regional minister. So he's covering for that. So he's gonna be here as well and bring greetings from the region. And um, it's a great Sunday. Most of you, a lot of you have met Chris in person already. We've had great support throughout the pandemic from the congregation. But if you haven't met Chris in person, um, today would be a great day to come. The reentry committee is allowing a few more people coming into the sanctuary or even into Friends Hall if we need the overflow. And so it's a good Sunday to come. Um, you can also just come for the reception afterwards on the patio, which will be around 1030 or so. So we're hoping to have a big crowd to celebrate Chris and his family and his ministry at St. Andrew. So that's kind of a, our Sunday in a nutshell, a little bit different than other sermon promos. We thought it'd be kind of a worship promo this week and, and celebrating this coming Sunday. And I, mean, I can't say enough about the hospitality, uh, the love, the extension of grace that's been extended to our family and uh, 16 months in i'm no less excited about being a part of this congregation and, and what we can do together in ministry and how we support one another in the church and how we do justice and make a difference in the community and this sunday is a way of just celebrating that partnership and celebrating who we are now and and who we become as a congregation in olathe and in the wider kansas city area so we hope you come join us yeah, and we have other guests, too, from the region or from the denomination that are going to be here to help us celebrate yeah. as well. Yeah. So. And some of our community partners, some of the organizations we partner with, some of those representatives will be here. So it's kind of a, a gathering of all kinds of people from um, all the walks of life that Sander connects with, which we're excited about. So join us. <laughs>